what's going on guys. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take this panel which we just assembled and mounted onto the wall and we're going to connect it to the bath tank right over here. Um, so what we're going to do is essentially connect some PVC on this side right here. It's going to go into the top of the tank and then at the very bottom of the tank we've got a little connection right there so we're going to put some PVC right there. It's going to go into this pump and then it's going to go back into the manifold. So essentially we're just going to create this little mixing and dosing loop. Alright, so the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mount a little bit of Unistrut on the wall and that's going to make it easy for us to mount the PVC onto the wall and give it a little bit of space since the manifold sticks out. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So now we've got some Unistrut on the wall. We're actually going to use this component right here that's going to allow us to mount to the strut and this is the pipe hanger we're going to use. So basically we're just going to attach the pipe hanger to this component and then we're going to be able to connect it right to the Unistrut. There we go. Alright, so now we've got everything set up. So the next step we're just going to connect our pipe from the bottom of the tank into the circulation pump through the pipe hanger over there and then into this end of the manifold. Pretty good. All right, so we've now connected our PVC from the bottom of the tank into our circulation pump and then going into the inlet of the manifold. Um, one thing we didn't do in this video is um, actually connect the, the PVC together with PVC glue. Um, but in you know a real installation, you're obviously going to want to use like primer and then glue, or just like a one part PVC glue. So next up, I'm going to be connecting the outlet of the manifold into the top of the batch tank. And so in this case, I'm going to be using some flexible PVC. If you had, if you just wanted to use regular PVC, that would be totally fine as well. And so I've actually added an adapter to the end of the manifold here, and then one into the inlet of the batch tank here. And that's just going to make everything a lot easier when I'm connecting the flexible tubing. Uh, so what I have here in my hands are just two barb fittings and those are going to go into the tube and then once they're in the tube then I'm going to easily be able to connect it from here to there. All right, so we basically have uh, an entire batch tank system set up. So I'm going to go over how this works. Uh, we'll start from this tank right here. Uh, actually, if you, if you look over there, that's our source of water. So we're going to have the water coming up through there, through this pipe, and then right into the top of the tank. Uh, there's actually a float valve at the top of the tank. So basically, if this thing gets full, the float valve will prevent any more water from coming in. Um, so once this thing is full with water, we want to get it dosed up to the correct EC and pH levels. So we've got a circulation pump down there and that's going to pull water from the bottom of the tank through the pump into the manifold and then it's going to go past the sensors and then past the pumps and then back into the top of the tank. And this direction of flow is important because it'll ensure that when the pumps will dose, the nutrients will go directly into the tank. Uh, the issue if it was going the other direction would be the pumps would be dosing on top of the sensors and then the sensors would have readings that would um, get really high. So that's basically all you need to do in order to get this set up. Uh, there's several other ways that you could do this. Uh, you could have a pump like that. It could be a submersible pump. You could be doing this in a larger tank, basically any size. You can use an IBC tote. Uh, basically any tank you want to use. Uh, also if you wanted things to get mixed up a little faster you could put like a big uh, aeration pump into the tank as well. But anyway that gives you the gist of how this is set up. And then on the other side you can do this in a lot of different ways as well but essentially here we've got a, a pressure pump right here and what would happen is if any of these solenoids is going to open up the pump is going to activate and it's going to send the nutrients from the tank 
into any zones that you want to send it to. Um, and the way that this works is that once uh, water gets taken out of the tank and sent to the zones, the float valve is going to open up and then more fresh water is going to come in. And when that happens, the EC and pH is going to change. The EC is definitely going to go down. And that's going to tell the doser to turn back on and add enough nutrients so that you get exactly back to the level that you want. And it will do the same thing with pH, um, basically indefinitely until you make any changes. So once you have everything set up, there's a couple more steps you need to take. Um, one of them would be calibrating your sensors, calibrating your pumps. We have more videos for that already. And uh, the next video after this, we're also going to show you how to connect your system to the cloud and set up your dosing so that you can make sure that um, you've got everything figured out perfectly.